Good afternoon, Sindhu Padmawati. Okay. Did I pronounce yeah. your name correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. You can call me Sindhu and okay. I'm your speaking partner for today. So, right. how are you, Deepak? I'm feeling good. Thank you. Thank you so much for your concern. And what about you? I'm in the pink of my health. Thanks for asking. Oh, wow. Yeah. How's your day been so far? My day is going good. Yeah, going good. Yeah, that's nice. So did you get time to go through the session notes? Yes, I went through. Mm -hmm. I went through. So I think the topic is interesting. It relates to the uh, recent plane crash in Nepal, right? Yes. Yeah, so if you were a pilot and if you had to save one, uh, save the life of one person because you're the doctor, on that uh, plane, you're the pilot as well as the doctor. You have to save that person and you have to put that uh, plane on autopilot mode and go to save the patient. Or would you uh, leave that patient as it is and would you try to save all the other passengers in the airplane? What do you think would, would you do in that in such a situation? Mm. <clears throat> Obviously, if autopilot mode is system is available in the you know, plane. I would yeah. try to use that and for that I can help for the time being for half an hour or 15 minutes, whatever. Right. Yeah. If the situation that situation is in our control, then I try <laughs> to save that individual. If it is not, then I can I would rather save those you no know, hundred on one hundred fifty people's Right. Yeah, yeah. And individual, that indiv individual. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's a nice thought. So yeah, I agree with you. Whatever you said is correct. Yeah. yeah. So if there's yeah. a facility like that, I think yeah, we must take care of the patient. If there's no such facility, yeah, take care of all the people. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. nice. Now, do you like uh, traveling by flight? Yeah, of course. Why not? <laughs> Do you have any air sickness? What? No, I, I don't. You don't have. Okay. When was the last time you uh, traveled by flight? Yesterday. Yesterday? Oh, wow. Yeah. Where did you travel to? Bihar. I went to leave my mama, see of my mama. To, I'm from Bihar, right? Okay. So uh, I took her to Bihar, Patna. And then from there, I returned back on the same day. I went in the morning and come okay. back to Delhi um, by 8 o'clock. Oh, that's Delhi. really nice. Um, mm -hmm. So yesterday you traveled by flight and today we are discussing about the travel. So uh, that's really yes. nice. And unfortunately, I saw a video yesterday uh, on uh, social media that mm. uh, you know the fire caught in flight on mm. their pin, right? And the pilot were uh, taking those flight through the ocean, through the and you know hills and those all. At the end of the time, mm -hmm. he saved those all people. That pilot. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we also have some idioms to discuss here. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, brush, brush with death. Now we have given that in the session notes. So when you're close to, when somebody is close to dying, but they don't die, they live. Then we say, I just had a brush with death. Do you want an example or is the example given no, to I you? I understood, death? I understood. I gone through those all notes and I used to understood those all meanings of the you know, uh, sentence and those all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mm -hmm. see, that's, not, that's really nice. That shows your interest. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, when you do your homework, it's easy for you to understand. You then mm -hmm. flash before the eyes. That's also simple for you, right? Yes, yeah. It's also similar. Yeah. Similar, correct. Yeah. Now, uh, what about the vocabulary? Is there any difficult word that you found? No, I understood. I understood those all vocabulary. Let's talk about some different, you no know, uh, uh, topic in which I'm interested. You are not aware. I'm aware. I'm not aware. You are aware. Let's learn something new. If you have those topic, other if you have, I don't know. Okay, uh, I got to know that you are a physical fitness trainer, right? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm also a person who's interest, interested in fitness. Mm -hmm. I used to work out in a gym when I was in Bangalore, but uh, in Rajasthan, I don't have any gyms nearby. So I just uh, work out at home. Okay, nice. So, so let's talk about this because it's of a great interest to both of us, right? So mm -hmm. I just wanted to check, like, see, uh, if I'm, I'm a person who can't diet, okay? Uh, because my health doesn't allow me. So if I just work out without uh, balancing my food, is it fine? Oh, no. Okay, as you mentioned, your health doesn't allow you to diet. Yeah, that means, see, I feel um, when I uh, try to avoid food, like I uh, sometimes I think that I'll have only fruit diet. Then I feel very tired. I feel very low, and I I always think about food. I feel like eating food. Only food, food, food comes to my mind. Then I think, okay, why should I do this dieting? I should only uh, eat normal food so that at least I don't bother about food. I do my work. So that's why I can't do dieting. Fasting also I can't do. So okay. you tell me. Obviously, if your goal is to become a stronger, fitter, healthier, hmm. you can have domestic food and be mm -hmm. the fitness goal you want to get, right? So it's all about your goal, what your goals are. Okay. Some people, okay, have their goals in fitness to be more flexible, more right. faster, more have agility, more stronger, more thinner, more you know, muscular. So mm -hmm. it's all about your goal, right? Okay. So if your goal is to be stronger, not lose weight, just you have mm -hmm. to be, you can have whatever, not whatever, but healthy mm -hmm. food. Okay. And you can lift weight, you can do push-ups, you can do squats, you can run, you can jog, you can walk, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do, you can do. Okay. Yes. That's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah, I think that uh, I just want to be flexible. So I just want uh, to work out because even in this cold winter, like when I don't work out, I feel like uh, my body is very cold. Then when I work out, I feel okay, the body temperature increases. So that's really nice. So yeah, mm -hmm. so I think that at least some 10 minutes workout, 15 minutes workout is fine. That's, that's what I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So by the way, what do you do apart from clapping go? I don't do anything else. I just, uh, I'm interested only in part-time job because I want to maintain my work and personal life balance so that's the reason i already have 17 years of work experience so i think that now it's time to just stay at home and do something that that you're passionate about i'm passionate mm -hmm. about um, helping people learn english so i just want to do that and rest i'm passionate about uh, caring for animals so when i get oh, my wow. free time, yeah that's my hobby so i take care of animals on the streets I have a pet dog, I take care of that. Then I am also a person who is interested in meditation and prayer. So I need a lot of time for that also. So this is my balanced lifestyle now. Wow, nice. Keep it up. No. Thank you. So I'll carry the all activity, rituals and have it with you. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, if I, when I used to work, like when I go, when I leave my house, like early in the morning, seven o'clock, when I reach home six, at 6 p.m., it's like like a dull life. I'm not able to do whatever I want. I'm stuck at work. So I was not very happy. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yeah. So that's about it. Now, this is a half an hour session, right? We have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So until now, whatever we have discussed, can I give you feedback on that? And then we'll discuss further. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Now, main uh, focus here is pronunciation. Okay, you're you are able to speak well. You're able to quickly think of a of a response to this question that I put across, and uh, even the way you uh, respond is so uh, impressive because you're uh, you look very cheerful. You don't look nervous, so that's really nice. Keep it up. Okay, you have a smile on your face also. That's very important. It it shows that you are confident. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with regards to pronunciation, like the word ocean, it's ocean, not ocean. Ocean. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so, fitter, not fitter. Fitter. Fitter, fitter okay. Fitter. Same like that, thinner, not thinner. Thinner. Thinner, okay. Thinner, slimmer, yeah. yeah. And uh, with regards to singular plural, there was uh, just one error. That is 
uh, when see the plural see when there's one person we say person and in plural we say people no need to add s to that no people oh. just people mm -hmm. same so. way it's a common error uh, some people say for children they say childrens it's not required one is a, one is a singular child and the plural is children okay sure <laughs> and uh, when i asked you did you go through the session notes you said uh, i gone through now if you're using the word gone okay you have to no, use no i said went through went through is fine if you have used went through it's correct yeah. but i'll put gone through so i just uh, wanted to tell if you you can use went through no problem but gone through if you're using uh, then you have to add have also have gone through i have, I have gone, gone through, through. yeah, yeah. So this it is otherwise it's incomplete mm -hmm. okay both are both are fine went through is the simple past and have gone through is past perfect tense so different tense but same meaning that's all right mm -hmm. so okay. that's really nice uh, now we still have time we have 15 minutes you tell me now what do you want to talk about okay hmm. i just mention may know your how what kinds of life do you love that means um, some people love their only professional life they want to grow financially mm -hmm. worldly they run behind their goal their dream some people devote their whole life to you know their own health their family and mm -hmm. uh, social work also yeah so which one is better because uh, which one is better you could you explain me a little bit about it yeah yeah i think we need to be an all rounder because uh, we we need to taste life just like the spices in our food if you just have one spice it will be very boring right but when we when we spice up our uh, food is the same way we need to spice up our life so um, see sometimes you need family uh, you need people around you you need your social life sometimes you feel that okay i need i need my own space i need to relax i need to meditate i need some time to think about myself so that's also required but every time if you are lonely then it must it might be boring then we think of uh, our family but every time if our family is around us then we think oh my god i need some space so it has to be balanced and see uh, yeah money earning money is required but uh, we shouldn't be uh, so crazy about uh, money because the more we run behind money money will keep running away from us so we should we should be relaxed and then money will automatically come if we do our things right it's like karma they say no so whatever we do according to a karma that will come back to us if we do good good things will happen to us if we do bad bad things will happen to us right okay nice nice yes that's okay so what is your other interest like apart from fitness what other things do you like my only interest is self development okay sometimes i distract <coughs> because of mm -hmm. some other my personal things i get mm -hmm. distracted but i try to come back on my track mm -hmm. and i only think listen read talk about self development yes okay, okay one correction here uh, deepa it's mm -hmm. develop lapment lap development Not yeah not Develop. lock development mm -hmm. okay and sometimes i distract see sometimes i get distracted mm, i That's get distracted okay sometimes yeah i distract means i trouble others i get distracted means i'm getting troubled by others so i get distracted mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i do a haircut i get a i get a haircut so both are different right okay okay mm -hmm. same like nice. so what else you are from delhi right yes yes uh, is it a sunny day there yeah it is sunny did you also uh, have fog in the smog. morning no few uh, past few days uh, we are not getting smog no smog no fog okay no morning fog, no. in rajasthan here it was foggy in the morning and mm -hmm. now it's sunshine Okay. I love this 
when I can't live without the sun. When it's very foggy, I feel very mm -hmm. dull. Do you like winter or summer? <laughs> I I like spring. Spring. Sorry. Spring, spring. spring is my favorite season, man, too. Yeah. Yes, I'm just yes. waiting from 26 January. Basant Panchmi will start, right? Then hopefully, yeah, the like will be pleasant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. So, how did you learn your English? See, when I, I, I studied in Bangalore, right? So, uh, when I was staying in Bangalore, my neighbors' kids, they used to speak in English. So we used to communicate in English. So even before I uh, joined school, I knew English. Okay. So that is very, yeah, that's, that's why communication, communicating in English is very important. If you are speaking now, yeah, you will know the language. If you have spoken at the year of uh, when, you're, when you were a two-year-old, then you would have learned it at that time. It's just as we learn our mother tongue. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's okay. I've seen here a lot of schools, the international schools, though they have that international tag, they don't speak um, English. When I used to teach in some schools here in Rajasthan, if I force them to speak in English, mm -hmm. they, they wouldn't feel comfortable. They say, no, we're comfortable in Hindi. We would love to speak Hindi. Then I would tell the students, okay, then you could have joined a Hindi medium school because in Hindi medium, you can speak Hindi. In, in an international English medium school, you have to speak English. But mm -hmm. people are not bothered. They, they, as kids, they don't realize. But when they grow up, they'll understand. And then they'll join clapping to learn English. Right? Yeah. So, so, so. Okay. Did you have lunch? I, yeah. I <laughs> I ha had my lunch. I had. Okay, my that's lunch. good. So, uh, how do you spend your day? I wake up at five. Okay, then I start cooking, cleaning. So I finish all my household chores. Then I. Then I sit in front of my laptop to take classes. Okay. And uh, I work for five hours. After okay. five hours, then again I go back and it's it's like prayer time. When I finish my day, it's like five, five thirty. Then I do my prayers. Then I cook. Again, mm -hmm. the household shorts. Then I go to sleep. I work out in see after dinner I work out. Like I like to do Zumba. That's my favorite. And then I uh, just check my messages and all that and then go to sleep. So after having dinner, you work out? Yeah, because during the day, I don't find time. And uh, they say that after after dinner, if you work out, our food gets digested, right? So uh, are you married? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. So do you feel comfortable after having dinner, you do Jumba and the all? Yeah. Because even I feel, I feel that I, I feel light. Otherwise, I feel very heavy. And um, see, uh, those abdominal exercise, if we have to do, then the stomach must be empty, right? So that, if I have to do that, I could do it in the afternoon before lunch. But mm -hmm. uh, so when I'm working, I can't do that. I had taken a break in between. I was not mm -hmm. doing anything. So at that time, I used to work out in the afternoon before lunch. That used to be very good. I used to find it. It's working on my body, but I don't have the time during the day. Okay, okay, nice. So what motivates you to stay fit, to do Jumba, to do workout? And the, why, when did you motivate and what inspired you? Why, why do you want to be fit? So the reason is because, uh, see, I want to look good. And uh, see, uh, when I, if you... I, See, now you ask me, are you, so you mean to say you're married. But when I got married when I was 18. Okay, then, oh, really? Yeah. And when I was 19, my daughter was born. So, oh my God. Yeah. so I was worried like, okay, at the age of 19, I must not look like an uh, old lady. So I thought immediately after my daughter is born, I should work out on my body. Uh, so I started working out. Uh, uh, in Bangalore, it was very nice. I had a gym where I used to work. I used to work in HSBC Bank. So... 
uh, during lunch breaks i used to work out so that continued now do you know how old is my daughter i i believe uh, i i guess uh, you you look is like uh, between 25 or 28 mm-hmm. that's why i like to work out because when we work out we look young right but actually like my daughter is 18 years old and i'm 30 yeah 18 <laughs> yeah wow. it's stunning wow that's why i like to work out because i get compliments from people oh you look like you you look so young you look like your you both are sisters that is me and my daughter when we both mm-hmm. uh, they say you both look like sisters. and what about your husband does he do workout he is not interested in workout but he is uh, interested in that uh, herbal life he takes those products to reduce weight and he skips food uh, he he is able to eat that healthy food just fruits or just salads he is able to do all that he is not interested in workout so don't you motivate him stimulate him uh, yeah yeah i do i do i tell him like you join you join when i work out we both can do together zumba or tabata whatever but he's mm-hmm. not he said no i am i can only reduce my food i can't do anything else but i'm the opposite i say i can't reduce food but i can work out and what about your daughter daughter she is very busy studying she is preparing for her neat exam she wants she is aspiring to be a doctor so she is busy with studies i understand she is making her future to make someone healthier no yeah she would and, like to and she is not doing the things that make her healthier fitter why you should teach her a little bit i tell I, her i tell her to take a break in between and do some workout because yeah. at her I age I, 45 minutes is enough right yeah i i used to do at her age so i also advise her but uh, she is like too studious so she is not interested in that you know the value of health it doesn't matter your career your money your job cannot protect you no health once your health will be break down yeah. correct correct right. and health health is wealth if you are healthy we can earn right right is two jobs has you know billions of money in his bank account mm. but when he got the victim of cancer that mm. does that money saved him no mm. yeah okay two corrections here mm-hmm. uh the word career career not career career okay and okay. when he got the victim of cancer when he became the victim of cancer mm-hmm. he came you can say not got okay mm-hmm. or simply you can say when he got cancer mm-hmm. but nice mm-hmm. confidence deepak continue that continue to speak like this and you have the body language your head your like nobody is, see when somebody sits like a statue and when they speak it's different but you have the movements so that's really nice it shows the confidence okay. keep All smiling right. thank you thank you okay. so i think now we have another 2 3 minutes and the session will get disconnected sure <laughs> have any other doubts or questions that you want to ask me no i don't have any questions that's okay everything is okay <laughs> so what's your plan for the rest of the day your weekend i don't do, i i have the to do list i make every single day to do list what i have to do for the day and mm-hmm. i i have plan for weekend i don't write it down mm-hmm. uh, every sunday what i do i clean i do household right like you oh, i make food my yeah i clean my home i wash my clothes mm-hmm. and i do do all household on so sunday household chores chores i'll type it here okay household chores okay yeah not like the chore in hindi <laughs> it's chore in english household chores okay 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 so uh-huh. yeah right. so we, yeah have you not thought of uh, keeping any maid for the household chores mm 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 my parents they don't allow me to keep it okay but yes. uh, it's good because you are not actually a person from delhi and you would not know whether the person is the right person or not so it's better to do all the work yourself even i prefer that yeah even 
If I had to advise a son, I would also say the same thing. Do your work yourself. That's great. And uh, sorry, I, we don't have much time. Otherwise, I would explain why mm -hmm. people should not keep, you know, if uh, any maid or any yeah. helper, because even the he or she can do his own work himself, but we don't have much time. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Anyway, we had a nice conversation today. Yeah, yeah, it was great speaking to you and I really enjoyed the conversation. Hope to see you sometime again in some other session. Sure, and sure. enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, have a beautiful day, man. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.